Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So in this video we'll just be seeing two examples of one converting from mod arg form into Cartesian form and one uh, in reverse from Cartesian form to mod arg form. So this one is um, Cartesian to mod arg form. The question says express z equals negative 1 minus i in modulus argument form. Okay, so for modulus argument form we need the modulus and the argument as the name suggests. So if we get the modulus, right, that's the square of the real part plus the square of the imaginary part and we take the square root, right? And so you should see that this is going to be 1 plus 1 which is 2 and so the modulus of z is equal to root 2. Okay, now, this is an area where some students tend to have a bit of trouble. Converting, um, to get the argument when converting into mod arg form. So, the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to plot the point. Draw a rough plot of where the point is. Okay, so, we're going to be minus 1 across on the real axis, so that's minus 1, and we're going to be minus 1 down on the imaginary axis. So there's minus 1. So we have our imaginary axis and our real axis. Right? And this is where we are. We're at that point there. Okay, so this is Z. Okay. Now, the best thing in my opinion to work out the argument, so remember our argument, usually we worked it out as the inverse tan of y over x, the imaginary part over the real part. Now if we do that here, we're going to get minus 1 divided by minus 1, which is 1. And so we're going to get 10 inverse of 1. But what's 10 inverse of 1? Well that's pi on 4, which means that we're looking at the angle that's right here. But clearly, our point is not in the first quadrant, it's in the third quadrant. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to first work it out as if it was in the first quadrant. So take all these values, but just take the positive value. So we're going to look at 10 inverse of the positive value of negative 1 is 1, and the positive of the imaginary part is 1, or the real part is 1. Okay, and that's going to be equal to pi on 4. Right? But clearly, we're in the third quadrant. So this is what I would say. I'd say since Z lies in the third quadrant, therefore, arg of Z is equal to. Now, we need to work out what it's equal to. So remember, we had that the arg of Z lied, uh, lies between minus pi and pi, but not including minus pi, right? Because minus pi is just going pi in the negative direction, which is going to lead us to pi in the positive direction. So we can't include it twice. But anyway, we want to get arg of z so that it lies within this constraint and it's in the third quadrant. So as you can see, if all the way up to here is pi on 4, or rather minus pi, but we've missed pi on 4, so this is only down pi on 4. This is going to be minus pi plus pi on 4. Right? So we've gone across minus pi, but then we've come forward pi on 4. So we're going clockwise minus pi, but anti-clockwise pi on 4. And so from that we can get negative 3 pi on 4 as our arg. Okay, so now we can just put it into mod arg form. So z equals, this is the general form, the modulus of z times cos theta plus i sine theta. Okay. And so modulus of z is root 2. Cos of negative 3 pi on 4. plus i sine of negative 3 pi on 4. 
And if you really wanted to, you can write root 2 cis negative 3 pi on 4. All right? Remember, cis is just an abbreviation of cos plus i sine. Okay, and that's the end of that example. All right, let's have a look at the next example. Express z equals 4 into cos pi on 3 plus i sine pi on 3 in Cartesian form. Okay, so this one is going to be fairly easy because this is pi on 3. This We know our exact values of cos pi on 3 and sine pi on 3. Okay, so we're going to have our 4 out the front. So cos pi on 3. Well, cos pi on 3, that's cos 60, which is a half. Plus i times sine pi on 3, or sine 60, which is root 3 on 2. Okay, and that's equal to 4 times a half, which is 2, plus i, 4 times root 3 on 2 will be 2 root 3, right? And so z is 2 plus i, 2 root 3. And that's the end of that question. So you can see when this is an exact angle, it's fairly easy to work out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe for more videos. Okay, thanks.